What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Doing 2019 Bowman Sterling Baseball, the 12 box case break figure teams number five. And we are also giving away $100 in break credit. So if you buy two or more teams in this break, figure team number five, you'll get entered to win. Winner take all, no max entries. Buy two teams, get one entry. Buy four teams, get two entries. Buy six teams, get three entries, etc. So we'll do the randomizer for that list at the end of the break. And loaded prospects and rookie checklist. 60 autographs in this break. Very, very nice stuff, guys. Bowman Stone is a pretty pricey product. And there you go, Pikachu team's number five. Richard gets the Reds, last spot mojo. Down to the Nationals. All right, this should be the Bowman Sterling case. I mean, I figure this is it. So we're going to find out. <laughs> yes, it is Bowman Sterling. Trip box at a time. Good luck. So we're looking at five autographs per master box. Oh man, are they all in mini boxes? Let me actually go get my horn too. Feel like we might be able to use it for this break. Good luck. Jake Cave. Reese McGuire. Wow. I didn't realize this was going to be a redemption. The Prospects Autograph. Wander Franco. To start off. So that should be Tampa Bay Rays. Tampa Bay Rays, Jamison. Nice. You got Joe Adele, Victor Victor Mesa, Hunter Green. Next one. Kevin Kramer. You got Bryce Wilson to 199. And
and we got Carter Keyboom to 150 for the Washington Nationals. There you go, Washington Nationals with that one. And Braves to 189. Next one. Eloy Jimenez. Sorry. And Chance Adams for the Yankees to 125. Very nice looking card. On card as well. Yankees with that one. AJ Anderson. There you go. Second to last spot mojo right there. Kyle Tucker, Brandon Lowe, Duggar, Nolan Jones, and Travis Swaggerty. Bowman starting for Pittsburgh. Daniel Hayes with that one. And the last pack. Nova. For the Houston Astros. D-Mac with that one. Alright, next box. Well, so I just seen Bear say that, but what's going on? Is it the same thing again? Can't find the helmet. Someone couldn't give him the same exact one, but just a year later so he can use it? Alright, next box, guys. Tristan McKenzie. Wow, we got. Whoa, well, there we go. 75 first of all. Or the 25 first of all. For the Cleveland Indians. And we got a die cut. To 99. Montero. For the Cardinals. Daniel Hayes with that one. Next one. We got Martinez and a Casey Mize, number to 99. Blue Jays with that one. Rebecca. Oh, did he really? Oh, I gotta look into that a little bit later. But I thought he realized that. You got like a newer helmet or something, but I guess not. Pete Alonzo. McNeil. And Grayson Rodriguez to 25. Orioles. John with that one.
Nolan Gorman to 199, and a Bryce Wilson to 150 for the Braves. Victor Victor Mesa. Miami Marlins. Danny Patera. Next box. Next box. Rowdy Tellez and Jordan Adams. Angels with that one. Matthew Gomes. Next one. Nico to 25 for the Cubs. EA with that one. Logan Baker for the Cardinals. Wilson, De Los Santos, Urias to 99 for the Padres, and Suli Matthias to 125, Kansas City Royals. Royals, that, that is Michael Dubois, or Dubois, sorry, and Padres, Stephen Bear. I lost time. Kenzie to 199 and Montero for the Cardinals. Yeah, that's actually true, Mr. Mike. That he makes a good point. I think he is a very hard worker. And and really, guys, it's not like he was a first round draft pick either. You know, he was drafted, what, in the sixth round? Nobody thought he would be that good in the NFL. So he's definitely put in the work. I don't know if he has a s screw loose, as Mr. Mike's daddy says, but I kind of mean, I kind of know what you mean, though. It's like, why fight this? It's like, you know, it's what, what, are, you, what are you thinking about? I don't know what it is, honestly. Um, what I always just figured is, is very superstitiousness. You know, because 
you've worn that helmet throughout your whole career, right? You don't want to change helmets. That that's pretty much you. I, I that's pretty much what it is. So I think Tom Brady said it correctly. Like I didn't want to change my helmet either. You know, he was like, I won four Super Bowls with this helmet. So you know, I, I, I don't want it just to sit on my shelf anymore. Like I I want to continue to use it, but I think he just realizes that you know it's just not deemed safe anymore. So he obviously. Um, You know, work with the league to get a nicer helmet. And it's funny because, like, if it if it's really about the safety, like, like they were talking about the new helmets that they're actually offering, like, are literally molded to your head. So the only ones that can use it is you. But I really think it's just superstitiousness. He probably just has been using that his whole career, and he just doesn't want to give it up. It's pretty much what it is. And they were saying he probably could have won that case that he had going on. It's just that I th they said he lost it was because he hasn't even tried to, uh, you know, to work with the NFL. If he would have been going to, like, those helmet meetings and trying on helmets and just denying them, like, saying, you know what, this doesn't feel good, but at least putting in the effort, they might have would have let him use his helmet this year. He could have waved his, like, his no, no souf like, uh, wave clause that they had. Nice recent guard. It's 50. Gold. And Jordan Adams to 125. But, yeah. I don't know. Next one. Connor Scott, Miami Marlins. Ew. Something nice is coming up. We got Nick Schnell for the Tampa Bay Rays. And a printing plate. Freddie Freeman for the Braves. So you go raise with that one as well. Keep Ryan Hayes to 199. And a Julio Rodriguez for the Mariners. What a beautiful looking card. 7 out of 10. That is nice. DMAC. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, like I said, if it was me, I don't know if I'd be protesting it that way. You know, I'd understand. Yeah, you know, I've I've done well with this helmet, but I'd I'd, I'd give it up to be honest. You know, I wouldn't. I I don't think I'd fight for that helmet thing, but you know, if he wants to, he can do it. Jonathan India, and a Fernando Tatis to ninety nine. There you go. Very nice looking one as well. Cincinnati Reds with this one. Last spot mojo. Nobody wanted the Reds, but Richard got him. And there you go. A little autograph for you, buddy. Yeah, you know what's funny? I didn't realize Burfick signed with the Raiders. He's like a perfect Raider. <laughs>
All right, next box. Uh, Tercio. That is for the Padres. I know, right? It felt perfect with that one. And Jackson Quar. Quar, sorry. KC with that one. And Robert Ramos to 150 for the Colorado Rockies. Chris Shaw to 199. And a Brady Singer. Very nice. To 89. Or 99, sorry. Kansas City with that one. Ryan Blanton, Baltimore Orioles. All right, guys, give me one quick second. I got to send out some invoices, actually, before it gets too late. We still have about seven boxes left, guys. A ton, a ton of hits. We still have over 30 autographs still to go, guys. So no need to panic yet. So that's the good thing. This Bowman Sterling has five autographs a box. So hopefully I can get you some Dodgers, Joseph. I think I will, man. All right, cool. So after this box, we'll still have six boxes to go.
All right, next box. Jansen. Miguel Maya. And Ronaldo Hernandez to 99 for Tampa Bay. And this is for the Cubs. I uh, know, Mr. Mike's daddy. I, I highly doubt he's going to play. If, if he's going to play a series, he's probably going to play next week for the dress rehearsal, but I don't think Wentz is going to play at all, actually. They just signed McCowan, so brought him out of retirement. Nova to 99. Houston Astros. D-Mac. So I think they're going to try to get him as many reps as possible to... Uh, you know, back up once in case something were to happen since since Sudfeld actually got injured. And I guess Kessler also got injured, had a concussion on Thursday. So they were down to one quarterback. So need to get him healthy. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Two one ninety nine Perez. And Bryce Terang for the Brewers. Nice. Did you really? That's awesome. Pulled a Wander Franco redemption not too long ago, Greg. Oh, uh, George, sorry. It's pretty cool. But the gold one would be very nice. And Cedric Mullins to 75. Baltimore Orioles. Orange looks good on this Baltimore Orioles car. Oh, does it really? Trubisky hasn't played. I mean, not that Wentz has to anything to prove. I think I think Wentz is more than capable of playing the regular season without having to play any uh, preseason games. But I think if he's gonna play a preseason game, I think he'll play this week. Other than that, if not, he's not going to play at all. Texas Rangers, Cole win. I know, Mike Wire, I took over. I mean, it's just like seeing Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady. They most likely won't play any preseason games. Get your Mike Jones cards out. Or Mike White, sorry. So when I get done with this, we're probably going to have to just shift to eBay really quick. But we can sell out that football mixer. So that way, once I'm done with eBay, we could break the football right after. Seth Beer. Bo Bichetti, Joey Bart. And we got for the race. Liberator. Julio Rodriguez for the Mariners.
Morales to 125 for the Padres. Think so, George? I think he's going to run for his life this year. <laughs> They really need to get that guy some line. Jeff McNeil to 199. And India to 50. Cincinnati Reds. That's last ball mojo. Nobody wanted the Reds. And look at that. I think Hashkins. Man, Hashkins has beautiful touch. I always forget. How good of a ball, deep ball, he also throws as well. I think Haskins is going to be good. And Haskins is going to make the Giants pay. Although, I think Vince Fernandez for the Rockies. Although, I think Daniel Jones is going to be pretty good for them too. But I know he has like a grudge out there for the Giants. But, hey, it's all right. He can play against the Giants two times a year. <clears throat> Although John, Daniel Jones this week kind of went back to life, right? Got got hit by by life, not his uh, first preseason game. A couple fumble snaps and stuff. But yeah, I really think though the NFC East is going to be very exciting though. Like if Haskins and Daniel Jones end up becoming the future for those guys, and you know they're just superstars. Just having, you know, Dak and Wentz and, you know, potentially Zeke still there, obviously, if he ever does sign with the Cowboys. The NFC East is going to be crazy. You could say that, George. I mean, that was my one concern when they drafted him. I... I honestly thought he was a little bit better than Goff, but I knew that throughout his college career, he was always injured in some way, somehow, you know. But he was a stud, and I don't think it was—I don't think he was overlooked because of his injuries. I, I just—I just don't—I just think people just didn't see them. You know what I mean? So, but I think when he's healthy, I think a lot of people say he's pretty good. So hopefully we can get he can get back to that two years ago. Although statistically, what's kind of funny is that Matthias for the Royals is that he had a better year statistically last year uh, than kind of the previous year, even though he threw more touchdowns and stuff. So I think he just needs to be smart about his uh, his running ability. But again. I mean, you can say that about anybody if they're healthy, right? Oh, nice. Look at that. Dodgers, Dustin May. 16 out of 75. Very nice. There you go. First break mojo, Joseph. Give you a little horn for you, buddy. Honestly, <laughs> Murray's going to be treated like... I don't know if you guys remember... You know, David Carr actually was not a bad quarterback. You know, him being drafted number one, you know, coming out of college. But he just went to such a horrible Texans team. I mean, the dude was, like, running for his life and just getting killed every single game. And I think it was hard for him to recover after that. Matt Mercer. You know, obviously he was a backup for a long time with the Giants. I don't know if it was Panthers or not, but... I mean, David Carr was another quarterback that was number one overall pick. So good. It's just... Man, his, his team just literally killed him. Kirsten Santana for the Dodgers. And a out of ten for the Seattle... Mariners, Jarrett, Kleinick, Kellinick. Are you really, Greg? I mean, it could be. They've been pushing it back for such a long time. Another one there for the Dodgers. There you go, Joe.
And another dust, Dustin May for the Dodgers. 78 of 125. It's like a mixture of ter Carrot Top and like Jared Weaver. <laughs> Except he's not buff like Carrot Top, but... Still have four boxes to go, so 20 autographs, guys. Go look up Mr. Mike's daddy how many times David Carr got sacked. Did, didn't he own the record for most sacks in a rookie season? Or did somebody else already break that? Next one. <laughs> yeah, exa <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. That like David Carr was actually really good coming out of college, and he just he just got his life destroyed. Out of 99, you snell Diaz, and out of 75 for the Tampa Bay Rays, Matthew Liberate. Or, er, liberty. Imagine getting sacked 76 times. That is crazy. Willie to 199 and a Grayson Rodriguez for the Orioles. Andrew. Kneiser for the Cardinals. And Dewall Lugo to 99 for Detroit. Detroit Tigers, Danny Patera. Joey Bart, nice one for the Giants. Kyler, or Kyle with that one, sorry. All right, three more boxes to roll. Steve, I don't know. I don't know. I, <laughs> I thought I would think a lot of teams have cards in this. Oh, 
trying to think of what other names I haven't called, but I feel like I feel like definitely twins, obviously. Gotta get some twins out here. I honestly don't know the checklist, but Give me some extra mojo for you, man. India. Victor Mesa. And for the Rockies, Vince Fernandez. Wander Franco to 199. And Roberto Ramos. Rockies. Yeah, I know. AJ I called the Yankees right away, and then all of a sudden, no Moss. I know, right? It's like, yeah, you get 60 autos, but it's all repeats. Cody Clemens for Detroit. I know, AJ, but I'm just trying to get something for everybody, especially in a break like this, where there's 60 autographs. But again, yeah, it's sometimes it's just the way it goes, but try not to. Out of 50 for the Royals, Matthias. And Ryan Bull rookie for the Blue Jays. Jonathan Hernandez for Texas. I don't know what this is. It's a Juan Soto, though, out of 99. Bowman Sterling. Washington Nationals, that one. All right, two more boxes. Honestly, Steven, I think you're right, man. I think... No, you know what? That's not true. I don't think I've called Red Sox either. So I'm trying to think either that, Red Sox, or Diamondbacks. So maybe, you know what? I think I might have called Diamondbacks already, but... I think Red Sox are another big team that I hadn't called. So I'm trying to look at the list. I think even Brewers haven't had an autograph, actually. Oh, do they? I don't know the checklist, guys, so... I know, Rebecca. I'm trying to get you that Vlad here. I've only had one crack at it. I'm trying to just go one for one. No, it's you. It's me. It's not you, Rebecca. I'll try to get it for you. I just hate it, you know, when you know everybody tries so hard and it just doesn't pop out. And then the one case you don't get right, and then boom, it hits. This is like, what? All right, we got for the Cubs, Nico. Nine autographs, guys. Come on, Vladdy. 
and twins. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice one though. Victor Victor Mesa to 99. Miami Marlins. Danny Patera. Death Rage for Detroit. And Perez to 25. The Houston Astros. Bone Ailer. Cleveland, this is for you, John. Christian Santana for the Dodgers to one fifty. Last box mojo. Then for the customers that bought two, four, six teams, etc., etc., we'll get a chance to win a hundred dollars in break credit. So if you did buy multiple teams and haven't hit much, maybe we can get you a hundred dollars as well. Hundred dollars back. Last box mojo, good luck. And it's uh, Rosnell Wilson for the Braves and La Siega for the Yankees to 99. Cedric Mullins to 199. And for the twins, Akil. Baddo. Woohoo! Steve, there you go. I only took the last box, but there's something. To 50 gold for the Texas Rangers. There you go. All right, two more to go. Orioles, 
Ryland Bannon. To 125. All right, everybody. Last pack. Good luck. And for the Twins, Trevor Larnich. Another one for the Twins and Steve. There you go, man. And with the last two hits in the last box. And there you go, everybody. That was the break. Over uh, 60 autographs, of course. Lots and lots of hits. A lot of really nice stuff. Unfortunately, no Vlad. Sorry about that, Rebecca. Uh, but some really nice stuff. Of course, twin, uh, Blue Jays still got stuff, but want to get that Vlad. But very, very nice stuff. A lot of names. Wander Franco, Joey Bart. Top two I can think of that were pretty nice. Dustin May. Some out of tens. It was a pretty solid break, though. Regardless, for a lot of teams. But yeah. And we also had a printing plate as well. All right, so let me actually quickly set up this randomizer. So actually, let me see. Dice roll, list, and quickly. One, two, three, four, so John's gonna get one. Has one as well. All right, so here are the list of customers that are in this $100 break credit giveaway. Uh, number one gets $100 in break credit. If you have double the name, triple the names, you have bought four teams or six. So John got four, uh, Sherry got one, Richard got one, EA got one, Daniel got four teams, Jeremy McKenzie got two teams, sorry, and Daniel got two teams. So there you go. After... 10 times, number one gets $100 in break credit. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 
Danny Patera at the top. So there you go. $100 in break credit coming your way. And that was Bowman Sterling 12 box case break Pikachu number five. If we do have any more left, we'll post it up on our website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you.